of mind, Harry. Meet Terry Cush, a 62-year-old single veteran who is recovering from a fall that injured his knee last December. He spends most of his time confined to his bed, injected with oxygen. Within the last few months, Terry has experienced three surgeries, physical therapy, and a short stay at a nursing facility. He tells us more about the transition. I don't have any family here. Mm -hmm. All my family's in the West Coast. Mm -hmm. And... I personally had to get involved quite a bit to try to make sure that I was taken care of as properly as possible. Basic needs and simple errands that Terry once took care of himself have now become an additional expense for the senior to deal with. There are limited services to what his home care provider can do, so he relies heavily on the hired help of his attorney's niece. Yesterday, Rob's niece went I had made a list of places throughout the city that I wanted to go. I wanted to go to the post office because I didn't have any stamps. I needed to go to the bank because I didn't have any cash. But she spent like two and a half, three hours doing that. And then see, I pay her by the hour. I had to do that. To be all right. While some seniors find comfort and support in a nursing facility, Terry believes that there is no place like home. I use my own medicine and charge Medicare for it, and Medicare had already paid for it. You're telling me that I'm going to sit here for three days and have nothing done other than take my medicine, which I, I take myself? Yes. I called my doctor and I said, I'm going home. While Terry describes his experience as costly and futile, other seniors may find a nursing home to be more suitable for their recovery. Here at the Florence Home... Admissions Director Tume Goba Goba Guape understands the apprehension that may occur, but the organization works diligently to make sure the patient is able to adjust to their new lifestyle. You have to realize that moving into a nursing home, you are basically saying, I have to trust someone with my care. And so hearing stories sometimes doesn't ease that transition. So we try by all means to, when someone comes in, show them around, let them know who that staff is, and also let them know that even though I may not be your direct caregiver, I still am your direct caregiver and advocate. Reporting for the Omaha News, I'm Felicia Messadieu. Tume says it's the little things that put a Florence home resident at ease. Tume says it's the little things that put a Florence home resident at ease. Tumay says it's the little things that put a Florence home resident. Tumay says. Tumay says it's the little things that put a Florence home resident at ease. Basic. Basic needs and simple errands that Terry once took care of himself have now become an additional expense for the senior to deal with. There are limited services to what his home care provider can do, so he relies heavily on the hired help of his attorney's niece. While some seniors find comfort and support in a nursing facility, Terry believes that there is no place like home. Here at the Florence Nursing Home, Admissions Director Tume Goba Goba Guape understands the apprehension that may occur, but the organization works diligently to make sure the patient is able to adjust to their new lifestyle. Tume says it's the little things that put a Florence home resident at ease. Tume says it's the little things that put a Florence home resident at ease. 
Tomei says it's the little things that put a Florence home resident. Tomei says. Tomei says it's the little things that put a Florence home resident at ease. For the Omaha. For the Omaha News, I'm Felicia Messadieu. Reporting for the Omaha News, I'm Felicia Messadieu.